time had finally come. New Zealand. A place that I had dreamed about since I was a kid. What do you got there? Got a Strucker green tea to start out the trip. The adventure of traveling to a faraway land on the other side of the world. This was a trip that I didn't stop thinking about since the day we put it on the calendar. Here we are, finally got here. This would be Lori's first hunt, and I hope to see the excitement in her eyes when she harvested her first animal. coming out of the hut there. This is our little break room hut. Come in here, there's a kitchen. A couple little bunks to take a nap. With that out the window, that's not too bad. It's New Zealand. like something that's got length and width. A mass. He's got everything else. His brow's just slightly tipped down, but they're even. Right out of the gate, we spotted a really nice stag. We watched him grazing for a few minutes while trying to size him up with our optics. Before I could make a decision, he had moved off into the thick brush and we lost sight of him. We decided to continue on and keep looking for more stag. We are in the Valley of the Lord of the Rings, I guess they call it. That's where they film this at. And a big old group of some tar. It's like three nice bulls in there. Lori's checking them out. There's probably about 200 of them there, just all herded up. They're about to go into their breeding season, so the bulls are splitting up the nannies, and they kind of ran up into this basin that's too far to shoot, unless you're shooting eight or nine hundred yards and probably not the kind of shot we're looking for for Lori, so. I'm relaxing in here. Nice job, Lori. That's yep. awesome. That's a sweet ram. This is the first uh, animal I've actually been able to shoot because they always run away from me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so uh, nervous. Deep. Thank you. Oh, That's nice. awesome. Oh, that good. That's great. What do you got there, Lori? So I'm here with my first wild sheep. I 
I really wasn't planning on shooting anything tonight because the sun was coming down and then um, we spotted what I thought were four tar, but actually it was uh, four sheep, dark brown and this white one here. And so Chris said, let's just go for it. And wasn't in my plan, so then I got pretty nervous. Uh, my gun was moving all around because I've never shot anything. And uh, well, I got this one here. So Jordan and I are up here waiting at the top of the mountain. Um, so it got to the point where it's pretty darn steep and Chris and Tony are, they went all the way to the top of this mountain. Uh, Tony took a few shots at a bull and they went up there to see if they could find them. Got it. He has a tar on him? You're lying. It looks like you brought something back. Saw quite a few tar back in this basin the last couple days and they just put the slip on us a few times. Um, really challenging animal to get next to these bulls. They're pretty smart and a lot of nannies around so uh, lots of eyes. Got uh, posted up is about 360 yards and uh, there's a group of four or five bulls and this was the biggest one in there. So you have to earn it for sure unless you get lucky and catch one you know, in a hole somewhere. So get them caped out, get back, have some lunch, and probably gonna need a nap after all this hiking up this steep stuff. After only a couple of days, this trip had been everything I dreamed it would be, and more. But something about this place was still dwelling inside of me. The big stag and how we struggled to find him again. We had found multiple red stag that were also impressive, but I was still hung up on the one we watched on the very first morning. Fortunately for us, persistence paid off. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get up or yeah. not. <laughs> Big trip all the way. Oh, yeah. Doing? Yeah. yeah. Pretty that happy was, about that. That was day. I wasn't sure if we were going to see him again. Yeah. After a couple days ago. No, I shot a nice New Zealand red stag. Chris spotted him from back here. We were just kind of walking away back from a hunt earlier this morning and he was bedded underneath this tree in the shade. Chris spotted him and just kind of been waiting him out here for about 20 minutes and he finally stood up, so. 
couple of pokes with the 30 out six, got him down. Today was the day to find a nice stag. We saw this one early in the morning a couple days ago, and I've been thinking about him ever since uh, we saw him the other day and um, ran into a couple other stag this morning and I was kind of indecisive because I was still looking for one like this that was tall and wide and we snuck in about 220 yards or so and he was bedded under a tree up here and in the shade and put a couple right in the pump station with that 30 out six before he finally went down and there definitely was no ground shrinkage when we came up here. He's a lot bigger and more mass than just kind of what I was expecting looking through the binoculars and the spotting scope. So it's definitely a trophy of a lifetime. I can't think of a better animal to take and uh, keep carrying on. Had a blast so far. My husband's gonna get a good workout. He doesn't realize he left my pack, but I filled his pack up with my stuff. Good job. Hiding behind the bush there. Nothing near all oh, along. Geez, the look. That we saw before, but I think this one's a bit wider actually. Chris took a sec crawling through the grass and we stayed there and watched these guys for a while. And this one finally popped up and, um, and here I am with this beautiful deer, fallow deer in New Zealand. Excited to take him home with you? Excited to take him home. Such a blessing to get this deer. It's amazing. You hooked on hunting now? Maybe. <laughs> Seeing Lori harvest her first animal and watching the excitement in her eyes reminded me of the time I took my first deer while hunting with my father. At the end of our hunt, it was nice to take some time to relax and enjoy the moment while reflecting on the good times experienced during this trip. It's here early morning. I'm in New Zealand I'm looking for a red stag. My husband's just holding the gun for me, so I'll check back in a bit. Okay, bye. With a whole week ahead of us on the South Island, we were looking forward to experiencing all that New Zealand has to offer. I knew this was just the start of our journey together, the start of something bigger than our day-to-day -day grind. This was the time to start living, to live as if there were no tomorrow, to live the dream 